the Gauteng Freer project is excessively overpriced. Um, we estimate that the value of this road is, should have been less than what was paid, um, that, we, that Sanro has not been transparent and forthcoming with details as to how and why they paid uh, almost 18 billion rand. When you search for information about the GFIP on the internet, folks, you can find a lot of detail, drawings, tenders, design, builds of quantities of most road projects in South Africa, including Sanrol's road projects. When you consult with database management companies that have a lot of this information available to the industry, and it's very important that, um, that, uh, that, that information bodies and research companies provide this information to society, they have the information on virtually every other construction project, but they have nothing on the Gauteng Freeway project. Nothing. And that tells you something. Something is deliberately being hidden from the public here. And we want to state here that even if we have not been as accurate as we should have been, even if this road or our prices are out by 20%, the price tag remains excessive. Even if we believe that our calculations with, with the further adjustments as we get more information uh, takes it up to 10 billion or 11 or 12 billion for that matter, 18 billion rand was excessive. And by the way, our prices and the amounts that we put into our calculations were generous. We believe that the prices we've shown there is the max anyway. And we say to Sanral and the government, this issue will not abate. We'll also request that Sanral management, if they are implicated or did not act in the best interests of the public, that ETOLs are scrapped forthwith. Well, ETOLs is being it's failed anyway, but I mean, we just say stop the nonsense uh, and don't continue with something that has failed. Uh, but I think what we're highlighting here, and we need to make this uh, far more uh, clearer, is that had the roads been built at 8.9 or, uh, or uh, between 8 and 9 billion, 10 billion for that matter, the ETOL decision would have never happened, or could never have happened. We reiterate our position that the GFIP has been overpriced. Using more accurate information, Auto calculates the price of the project to be between 8 billion and 8.7 billion rand, resulting in an overpayment to the tune of between 9 billion and 10 billion for this project.